So take the photographs and still frames in your mind. Whoa, did you guys see it? That was Halle Berry as Storm during the ending credits of Deadpool and Wolverine, showing a little montage of 20th Century Fox's behind the scenes clips. And it appears that Halle Berry was actually down for cameoing in this film. So during her appearance at the premiere of The Union, she was interviewed by thecomicbook.com. But according to comicbook.com, Halle was never asked to appear in the film. That Lady Pool, aka Blake Lively, actually asked her about it in the past, saying, quote, Blake Lively asked me one time, I ran into her at a Mark Jacobs fashion fashion show and she said, would you ever be in my husband's movie as Storm? I said, yeah, if he asked me, but he never asked me. Now, of course, if in the movie, she would have been alongside Jennifer Garner as Elektra, Wesley Snipes as Blade, and Channing Tatum's debut as Gambit, stopping the threat of Cassandra Nova. They were perfect. Um, you know, it was all a lot of people, really just the criteria for that casting and why we thought of them was they were there were folks who just didn't have a third act. There were a few other ideas that I'm, I'm going to resist naming because who knows what the future holds. There were only maybe uh, maybe two or three other, we call them our legacy here. So Ryan and director Sean Levy mentioned some other talks of characters in this behind the scenes discussion on the Happy, Sad and Confused podcast. Now there's so many people you could have been talking about. The fact that Blake has spoken to Hallie in the past about being the character, I assume she was in that list of options. So we knew pretty early on it was not not based on availability, it was based on story. And yeah, like Sean Levy said, it's more about the story. It's more about characters who didn't get their proper ending and characters that didn't get their proper start, like Gambit. Um, for me, there was a real personal connection to Wesley and, and Blade. And there was enough X-Men characters in the movie that Storm didn't really make much sense. But yeah, we definitely should have had Nicolas Cage's Ghost Rider in there. Oh, that that would have been cool. And of course, the Blade movie, Ryan and Wesley starring in it together. <laughs> Ryan playing Hannibal King. They probably had a little bit more of a bond and a relationship together. And Channing Tatum obviously being a free guy with Ryan. Holy shit, you're guy, you're, you're blue shirt guy. It's you. Yeah, I love you. And Channing really being the underdog who's been trying to make this character work for so long as Gambit. And Ryan really making that magic happen. And the two just don't really have a relationship like that. And also Ryan makes a really good point here about the budget. In movies where you drop even an F-bomb, it turns into an R-rated movie. And that really has an effect on profit in films. We were trying to be mindful of the budget. You know, we were trying to make the movie. We, we always understood it's rated R. It's, uh, you know... It isn't a blank check and part of our, our responsibility is to, to return the investment that they're making in us. So I never want a budget that I don't feel I can, I can make good on. Uh, and the more kind of toys you start asking for and the more kind of uh, characters you start wanting to license, the, the deeper into that sort of uh, uh, point of no return becomes. We had the story issue, the budget issue. At the end of the day, I think they did an incredible job for as much stuff as they jam packed into this film. Like the fact that they got dog pool, they must have put a fat bag out there for that. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I thought the film was perfectly executed. And honestly, let's be real, Halle Berry probably did see the bag that the film ended up earning and was probably maybe feeling a little regret for not being as interested as she could have been. At the end of the day, she could have pushed herself to be on the film. It sounds like she was just waiting for somebody to ask her to be in it. Anyway, Anyway, folks, that is the news for today. Let me know what you guys think about the story in those comments below. And if there's any characters you guys think should have been in or out of the film. I know some people took issue with Gambit. <laughs> He wasn't perfect, but like I said before, it's his first debut, and I think there's a lot of refining to do, and I think he'll learn after watching the film himself what to take note of. Thank you guys so much for watching, and you guys know the drill. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>